Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video here after talking with a couple people that were having problems getting their GMRS 2A radio hooked up to Zello after going back and forth I come to find out that they skipped a step you cannot skip any steps okay and this is using Zello the free Zello not Zello work I will post a link to my website down in the uh, description on how to get these free Zello app I will also post a link to this website that tells you the steps that we're going to do in this video we're going to do all the steps together in this video so uh, to help people get this set up the step that people seem to skip is step number three you cannot skip step number three the reason is because when you set up a gateway you got to tell the gateway what channels you want it to be you know you, you got to tell it Zello does not know that's why it wants you to select the channels you want to be in the gateway mode so it's very important that you do step three also what's very important I'm gonna repeat this and it even states this that you must enter the group name exactly yes with the capital Z and the capital G you gotta follow these steps exactly you do this before you put Zello in the gateway mode as it states in these steps okay so you download your Zello you set up your account you got all the channels in there so I'm gonna call up Zello okay so this is what it looks like this is not in gateway mode you gotta do this before you put Zello in the gateway mode okay so let's say I want to do three I want to add three channels to the gateway mode okay as it states here you hold the control key down on your keyboard you select them when it's blue it's selected one two three now I go to tools create a group make sure you capitalize Z capitalize G hit OK now we have Zello gateway see that now you're wondering why does it say two out of three because this channel I'm not connected to that's why otherwise I'll say three out of three now if you don't want to do three channels let's delete this you just want to do one well then pick the channel you want to do same with same way go to tools create a group again capital Z capital G you hit OK one out of one done the other issue people have when it step number four tells you to exit Zello people minimize it that's not gonna work you have to exit it completely do not have it running in the background or this ain't gonna work so to make sure that you're exiting it do it this way status exit also go down to your little toolbar and make sure which you can't really see it's kind of off camera but down here make sure it's not running the background if it's running the background this is not gonna work okay so we got we exited it with number four now we're on step five and here's another issue people are having number five they say well I cannot find that config file it's not there well here's how you do this so what we're gonna do you go to Windows Explorer go to C Drive go to users now you gotta select I'm logged in as admin on this computer so however you log in if it's by a name if you whatever it is you'll see it here my case again I'm logged in as admin so it comes up admin now 
I scroll down and you can see I do have it here. Let me get my little pointer. Right there. The reason why I can see it because I have this selected. Hidden items. If that's not checked, this is Windows 10 by the way, you're not going to see that. This is what happens if I uncheck that. See? It's gone. Got to have that checked. Now it's back. Let me move this. Right there it is. Watch one more time. See? Gone. Not there at all. You, you, you'll, you'll never find it. Make sure hidden items selected. There it is. Now we go to this. We go to roaming. We go to Zello. Very end. Desktop. We go to the config file, right click it. I use Notepad++. It's a free software, but you can use regular Notepad if you choose to. Okay, then we scroll all the way to the end, and I'm doing that off screen because I don't want you to see my logins. So we're gonna scroll all the way down the file. We're gonna move this back into view. Okay, now we're gonna go to right here set gateway mode it's on false we want to put that to true so I'm going to type that in there right now true here's another problem people do not do they edit the file they put it to true they exit it without saving the file now if you use notepad plus Plus, like I do, it will tell you when you try to exit it if you want to save the file. Let me show you. If I click on here, do you want to save the file? Yes. If you do not select yes or you do not save the file, you're not going to get you're not going to get Zello into gateway mode. Okay. So now, let's make sure I did everything right. Let's minimize this, minimize this. Now I'm going to go back to Zello, and I should be in gateway mode. And there I am. I'm in gateway mode. Okay? Now remember, I selected that one, so I'm in, I'm in gateway mode with one channel added. You cannot see this on here. At least I haven't found a way to see it. So and you can't you can't create it either. That's why you got to do it before you put Zello in the gateway mode. So, yes. Another thing too, some people are getting kind of confused on when you go to options and you go to radio and you are right here transmit PC to radio, receive to radio. You got to make sure if you're going to use a COM port, you select what COM port you're using and you got to tell it what pin. You can select what pin, and you gotta tell it either high or low. So what my point is, if you select DSR, and you're using the DB9 connector, and you're not on DB DSR pin, it's not gonna work. You gotta double check your work. Make sure you're on the right pin. If it's, make sure you select, is it a high or a low? If I select low, and I'm applying a high, it's not going to work. So you got to make sure these correspond to what you're doing. You know, unless you're, if you're using Vox, then you don't have to worry about the COM ports. But the, same with same with the, the, the transmit, same thing. You got to tell it what pin, high or low. If you don't have this right, or if you're on the wrong pin, it's not going to work. Again, unless you're, you know, if you're using Vox, you don't have to worry about that because then obviously Vox is voice activated. Okay? So, keep that in mind too. But if, as long, if you follow, if you follow this, this will work. Um, you have to follow these steps exactly. Okay? Exactly. If you don't, you're not going to get Zello, the free version of Zello, into gateway mode. 
Not the work version. Remember, Zello's got two versions out there. They got Zello work. You don't want that one. That's a monthly fee. You want the free version. Again, I'll post all these links down below so that you have access to this. I'll post a link to this web page right here. I'll post a link where to get download the free version. And uh, you follow these steps here. You will have Zello set up correctly for the gateway mode. You still got to do the settings like I just showed you with the Vox or with the COM port, whatever you're going to do. But, but you'll have the Zello config right for the gateway with the channels you want to add. Okay? So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.